Hello, gorgeous ladies and gentlemen of the realm. Fairy Vixen here, back again with another video. And first, before we start with the jewelry, I wanted to show you some of the yummies that I got in the mail today from, I don't know who the chick was. Uh, I, it was Etsy. I, I didn't even look. I was looking all over for these. But, these are, well, they're supposed to be on your face. They're, the listing said, you know, face uh, around your eyes and on your nails. So, I got some Julie Jewels for my naily nails. And I can't wait to play with them. Then I also got some some more things from this chick in the Netherlands. So. I need, oh, look at the pretty colors. And then we have gold. And then we have silver. And then we have these guys that look a little too a little too large for a nail. Unless you used it for your pinky and then I could file my nail to a point and just wear that. Some stars and some hearts. And some hearts and stars and diamonds. So those are cool. I bought a whole this is just one. This counts as one package. So I didn't buy them separately. They come in a big sheaf like this. Ooh, look, there's pearls too. I think the pearls would look neat with these. Anyway, yes, I'm I'm on a quest to, to like do the whole nail thing. Just for fun. Because I like doing artist <coughs> artistic things. I've painted, and I've sculpted, and I've, you know, <laughs> I've done all the things, but this is a new one on me, and I'm going to try it, and I think it's going to be fun, and I'm sure there's going to be horrible failures along the way, which I will also show you, like, well, I don't know if you can tell, but I tried to put one of them on here, and it just, eh, it didn't look right, so I pulled it off and messed with it, I don't know, just... Eh, whatever. Okay, coffee. Mm. Nice and hot. It fogged up my glasses. Alright, let's grab some of these little guys out of here and see what we got. So we're back to the metal jewelry. Here's a really nice shiny, I think it's steel. And it has this slide. And it has a tassel on the end. Very nice. Very cool necklace. I like it a lot. Oh heck, I forgot to put my box over here so I can... So that I can... Put all my stuff in it. Push that back. Okay. There we go. All set. And I want to thank everybody for being at the auction today. We had a great time, as always. And I will be sending out your invoices um, probably tomorrow. And if you have anything... Uh, that's waiting in the wings for you, I will add it, unless you say otherwise. Um, so email me if you w just want your your auction win invoiced, uh, and we'll keep going with the boxes. Uh, it's all up to you. It's all up to you. I will do whatever you like, however you like it. Just need to let me know. Ooh, this is pretty. This is brushed steel and a gold tone on a nice box chain. Look at that box. I love, 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 love box chain. 
Love it, love it, love it. Except for the really big giant ones. I don't like the big giant ones that much. Oh, heck. Of course I got gunk under my nails. I'm trying so hard to keep them nice. It's just like I don't think to wash them immediately after I have like two <laughs> two ranch chips. Get that chip dust under your nail. <laughs> Dang it. Um, here's what we're gonna get going with the stuff that looks like it was stored underwater. I don't remember who said that, but it was a really good uh really good analogy. This one is adorable. It's a teeny tiny little puppy heart. And the pendant, <clears throat> the pendant doesn't look so bad. It would probably clean up really nicely and if I can find a decent chain. Well if I can clean up the chain that's one thing but if I can find a better one that's if it doesn't clean up. You know what I mean. You know what I mean. Here's another little tiny one. On a nice chain. Ooh, this feels like gold. Feels like hell. Well, here, it might be because the ball that this was in was a real hair puller. This is gold filled. I knew it felt different. And I don't know. I think this might be ivory. It surely needs cleaned. And I think it might <clears throat> just be bone because I'm only seeing marks in one direction. But I'll have to give it a better look later. So that's a little gold filled. Eh. Sarah Coventry carved rose ball. So that's nice. Very nice. It needs a cleaning, like big time, but it's still quite pretty. Here's another one with a little pearl. A pearl on a chain, a chained pearl. And this one is, I believe, Avon. Yes, it is. This one is in nice shape. Look at that little pearl. A teeny little pearl. Come on. Isn't that cute? And the chain is nice, too. It's in good shape. It is a faux pearl, but still, still very cute. This is adorable. It's a little koala bear. He's so cute. He's on a eucalyptus branch. He's got a gold tone chain. This is in really good shape. It's vintage because it's got the Spring ring. Really nice. Really, really nice. Cute, cute. I think I have two of those. So, if there's more than one of you that would like a koala bear, I have two. Ugh, there's some more of that yucky. Yucky, yucky chain. Yucky, yucky chain. I'll bet you it's Avon. No, it's just terribly. It's a whistle. Give a little whistle. Yep. Yeah. We used to wear them to the disco. And you know, you wore them to the disco because it was dark in the parking lot afterwards and you might need to use your rape whistle. My mother bought my sister and I each one back in the day. We never called them rape, rape whistles. My mother did, but we didn't call them that. Here is a little toe ring. 
black seed beads wired up cute does anybody buy those like for real and for serious or is that just something I'm gonna have a collection of because nobody buys them here's a Roman centurion on a terrible chain what is with these awful chains like he's a little worn terrible on that side and the chain is absolutely grotesque here's one of these little gold dip guys on a fair to midland chain that's not terrible it doesn't match but this is also snapped so that's going to be taken off of there actually let's do that now I haven't gotten hardly anywhere with this, have I? Whoop! Alright, that is garbage. Pretty little chain. Here's another one. It's a gold tone. Puffy heart. Usually you see uh, these in silver tone. Okay. And it has a tag. And the tag says... Oh, it's that one. Please tell me what that is. I do not know. I mean, I could look in, in Margaret's group and find it in the files, because I know I've seen it. But, yeah, that doesn't even look like that chain goes to that. Here's another little chain. Very nice little gold chain. In nice shape. And it is not marked, but it is very nice. It's a good one for any little pendant you may have. Okay, so we got all of the little ones off of this side. Here's a really cool brooch. It's like twisted wire. Cute. Gold tone and silver tone. Here's a. Oh. Here. Here's a fun little thing. Look at the crystals on that. They're blingy as heck. They look very, very blingy. And it's one of these with a nice gold tone slide with a little rhinestone in the middle. And this is a fossil. Cute. This one is a little disco ball on a very long chain. Silver tone and it's got a bunch of feathers at the end. Black feathers. If you don't like feathers, you could take them off and put something else on there. Or you could leave the feathers. They're kind of cool, but they are a little warm. Here's a fun one. It's just one of these. Oh, wait. Oh, that doesn't even move. It looks like it should slide, but it doesn't. It's a silver tone, teardrop within a teardrop, on a snaky chain, has no name on it. Here's another fun one, probably Avon. No, why did I think there was more Avon than that? It's a little star with a little drop. Uh, there we go. Isn't it cute? Very cute. Really small. That looks like a teenage, teen or teen, a tween necklace. Ooh, I like this one. You know I like these. So it's got, let's see. Let's see if we can see. It's got copper or silver tone, gold tone, and, uh, 
rose gold tone and it's got three shiny ones and three granulated ones. And then that's the stations all along. Very, very cool. Feels quality, even though there is no markings on it. We're going to measure it and see how long it is. Feels like a good length. Let's see, we got 34 inches. Very cool. Here's a ho ho. We got some stuff tangled. Oh. Oh. Okay. Was I looking for that? No. It's another little bitty ring. Very blingy. I think it's a toe ring. Another one. Or a midi. It could be a midi. That would look better on this one, I think. Oh, you like my big honking garnet. <laughs> okay. Let's get there's a, a green faux a druzy on a chain. Not too shabby. Ooh, I don't like middies. <laughs> they bother me. Okay, here's a little 16 inch flat chain. Uh, it's not a herringbone, I don't think. Or is it? You know, I forget from one day to the next what things are called. <laughs> here's a, another one of these. Oh, hey. There we go. Get out of the way. You need to go in here. There we go. Here is a... Looks like it had a tag on it. And... I eh, have to pull that off of there. Oh, it has a Leah Sophia tag on it. But it's another one of these with all the little O's. Gold tone and silver tone O's. And then the very apex is a Y. With an O. O, O, O. I don't know why I'm obsessed with those big linky ones lately. Okay. Let's get this one untangled. This is pretty. I'm wearing red today. <laughs> I forgot this was down here. I would have wore it. It's a little, a modest statement piece. It's not one of those big giant honking ones, but it's pretty. Pretty, pretty. Here we go with a really long. Da, 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 da. Chevron with a fringe, and it is. Okay, move the coffee. Move the coffee. All right, we have a three and a half inch. Uh, why do long necklaces have really long? Uh extenders like it's really long anyway I don't think it needs four more inches but anyway it's it's a uh, <clears throat> 40 inches long and the drop is seven inches approximately so that's a really nice long one long maybe I'll put that in the auction tomorrow or on the third actually let me tell you I am going to be uh driving Jen and John crazy this month. I'm going to be in, on their show uh, the third. Um, and then oh, I can't remember the dates, but there's two Wednesdays and then a, a random, I think. Wait, Friday. Uh... No, Sunday, this Sunday, the third, and then the second and fourth 
Wednesday of August. So you'll get sick of looking at me. But I love doing the lives with, with everyone. I think it's a barrel of monkeys. I'm kind of not good at it yet, but I'm getting there. Here's a nice one with... Um, oh, see, I'm, I'm freezing up now. Textured links and faux pearls and one, two, three, four, five, five strands. Well, actually, it's one strand down to five. And here's a little one that needs cleaned. And here's another one that isn't really loud and obnoxious big, but it's dainty for a uh, statement necklace. It's a smaller one. And a lovely minty green. Oh wow, look at this one. Weighs a ton. Really nice. It's a graduated giganto chain. And I'm in love. I am totally in love with this. Oh, it's so cool. It feels so nice. And it's really heavy. Really pretty. I like that one. Oh, hey, check this one out. <laughs> it's a scully. With rhinestone. And I don't think it's a necklace. I think it's one of them things you put on your... On your, um... Pants, I think. It just hangs down. I don't know. I don't know what it is, but it's really cool. Really cool. Ooh. We got we got time for this. Oh, here's one with a tag on it. Ooh, pretty. Ooh, really pretty. What tag is that? Is that black? Oh, I knew it. White House Black Market. Gorgeous thing. Look, it's, it's, um, kind of gray beaded and silver tone and pearl and these lovely flowers. And then the chain has these little dangly bit. Oh, it's so pretty. It's very Victorian looking to me, the way it's constructed. So that's a White House Black Market. Here's a... Ooh, this is, um... Virgo, I think? Oh, this is a nice one. This one didn't get wrecked. I think that's Virgo. Let me know if you know what... I know it's a Zodiac sign, but I don't know which one. That's an Avon one. Here's another funzy, funzy one with a tassel and a crazy, well, it's this way. It's got that kind of a clasp, which is, eh. And then it's got some nice chain and then a tassel and this kind of steampunky looking teardrop shape thing. Oh, holy moly, no, we're not pulling that out of there yet. Here is a really pretty one with a lovely glass drop and a tassel and some silver tone and some other pretty glass and some plastic. So it's plastic glass and silver tone. But it's uh, really nice. This is the one I took a picture of in my uh, in my light box, and it just came out so dark you couldn't even see the the pretty blue. And I have it's well lit in there. I don't know what the deal is, why it doesn't want to cooperate. Here's a I think uh, it's just a bracelet with two two strands. I don't think it's um, 
an anklet because it's a little too small for that. Hold on. There's an earring. There's a bunch of earrings over here. Come on, really? Really? Uh, what are you? Okay. That's crazy. Here is... Is that... I can't tell if that's rose gold or not. Anyway, it's a uh, metal, and uh, I'm not sure what the tone is on it. Could be silver tone, could be rose gold, late rose gold. I don't know. It's confusing me. It's bamboozling me. I like these kind. They're hard to get on, but I like them. Mm. Yeah. It's not like they're going to come off or anything. Alright, there's the earring. Here's a... I don't know if this is an earring or... Yeah, I think it is. It's got a steer, a horseshoe, and a saddle. Here's a big old twisty hoop. Here's this one that I know I have the other one of in the other room. Chain and Mother of Pearl with a brown dye. A brown dye job. Here's a rose gold chain. Very small. Very small. I think it's a necklace, but it's really, really small. You'd have to wear it at the end of the extension. Okay, now this one is the one that was confusing me. Okay, so, is this, it's probably going to go into the craft lot, it has these four panels, and then it has all of these chains that are supposed to dip down and be kind of a layered look at the bottom, but it's got some broken pieces, so that's going to go into the craft lock. Yeah, yeah. Whoa, look at this. That is a cool hunk of glass. Or agate, could be. But it's one of these, um, oops. one of these Chinese ones with the tie at the back. But that's a really nice hunk of glass or stone or whatever it is. Cool. There's another earring. Very cute. Fish scale. Here's a pair of... Not a pair. Haha. <laughs> but I have them both in the other room. There's one with three. This is another three, but they're two different kinds of chain. So they're going to go in the other room and find their mate. Here is a popcorn chain from Anne Klein. Anne Klein 2. Really nice, except it sticks to everything. It sticks in your hair, it sticks on your clothes. It's an interesting configuration though. It almost looks like yarn to me, but it's made of metal. They're made of metal. Uh, oh, we're at 29. Let's go through these little bracelets real quick. Here's some more of those children's bracelets. Some pink. And this is not a child's bracelet. It's also not marked. Here's a couple more. They got wedged. Oh wait, no, that's one bracelet. That looks like two. Here's some more of these that we've seen <coughs> several of over the last few videos. And here's a busted down looking, I don't know if it'll clean up. those. 
One of these, ooh, pretty. Ooh, it's got all of its, got all its stones. And it's got some good stretch. And this is where we end. It, it, we're at 30. Um, oh, 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 wait, no. Uh, uh. Oh, hey, no, we'll wait for that one. It's tangled. Anyway, please uh, leave a like. Subscribe if you haven't already. Leave a comment in the down there. If you see something you can't live without, please do leave a timestamp in the down there with a timestamp of the item you are interested in. Or you could send me an email with that same information, plus the title of the video and the date that it was posted. And, um, yeah, I, I want to thank everybody for being here, and I want to thank everybody for attending our auction. And I'd like to ask that everyone keep their eye out for when I am appearing on Jen and John Layton's uh, Wednesday or Sunday, I can't remember, their auction. And go check them out anyway. They do Sunday and Wednesday, and they're a real hoot, and it's a, a, a good time anytime they do an auction. So head on over there and subscribe. Alrighty. Remember that I love each and every one of you, and be yourself, because everyone else is taken. Bye-bye.